Hi, this is Ranjit from tech2buzz.com in, and in this video I'm going to discuss about uh, which processor to go for a gaming desktop computer, a i5 or a i7. Actually I got a question from one of our viewers, it goes something like this. Hi Ranjit, this is Piyush from Pune, I want to build a gaming computer, should I go with the i5 or a i7 processor? I don't want to spend uh, money unnecessarily if it's not worth it. Any other suggestion uh, uh, is also welcome, thanks. Uh, I actually got this question again from a couple of users so I'm going to make a video about it. Uh, to answer the question is that ideally for gaming a i5 processor is more than enough. Actually the current price of uh, i5 uh, that is uh, 2005k model is around 10,000 rupees and an i7 2006k model is about 15,000 rupees. So there is a difference of about 5,000 rupees. Uh, so you can save about 5000 rupees by going with the i5 processor because in most of the games currently the graphic card is the bottleneck and the processor is not the bottleneck right now. So I what I would suggest is that the 5000 rupees that you are saving by going with an i5 spend that money on a better graphic card. And also uh, when you are going for a processor go with the uh, i5 of the K model that is 2500K because the K model you can overclock the same. Uh, now moving to the graphic card, let's say that uh, you had a budget of approximately 10,000 rupees. Uh, if you're going with the Nvidia card, you would get a 460 GTX for about 10,000. But now by adding that 5,000 rupees and upping your budget to about 15,000, you could get a 560 uh, GTX card. And I feel that that's a better upgrade. And if you're going for an ATI based graphic card, you would get about uh, for 10,000 rupees 6850 series card. And with 15,000, you would get 6950 series card. And again, I would say that this 5,000 rupees extra with uh, spending on a better graphic card uh, would be better for a gaming environment. Uh, the next thing is that uh, as we are going with the K series processor, you can overclock this processor. So I would suggest that you take a motherboard of a P67 chipset or a Z68 chipset and that will help you in overclocking the processor if required. I would say that uh, moving from a P67 chipset to a Z68 7 chipset is not that really important for gaming. But if the Z68 chipset is just about a thousand or two thousand rupees more, uh, go for a Z68 chipset. Uh, for the details regarding the difference between i5 and an i7 and these chipsets, uh, refer to this video on in which I have already spoken about the same. I hope this video was helpful. If it was helpful, please click the like button given below. You can also subscribe to my channel to be notified about my future videos. That's it for now. This is Randit for tech2bus.com and hopefully I'm going to see you in my next video.